What's up guys? This is TA Travels once again and I'm sitting here with my other two friends. <laughs> What's up guys? This is Joel Mogisha right here from Rwanda, a YouTuber traveling the world. So and I'm also here with my other friend. What's up you guys? My name is The Wandering Kid. That is the name of my channel, The Wandering Kid. I am your favorite wanderer from Philippines. So today's topic is why many Africans don't visit Jamaica. I will first of all ask Joel what he thinks about Jamaicans. Joel Mugisha. Wow. What do I think about Jamaicans? Yes. Woo! Can this tell you <laughs> what I think about Jamaica? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Welcome, my people. Me, African brother. What do I think about Jamaicans? Jamaicans are beautiful people. They are Africans, brothers living in abroad, you know, across the seas. Uh, Jamaicans were taken there, most of them, by through slavery. But one thing I know about Jamaicans is they are very, they are the most actually uh, people in the Caribbean who are interested about their roots in Africa. And uh, because of that, they actually do support a lot of African content creators like myself. And that's why one of the reasons why I wear a Jamaican bracelet is because even on my channel, I have a lot of Jamaican support and love. One love, my people from Jamaica. I love you so much uh, because of your support, actually. So what do I think about Jamaica? I think they are Africans outside of Africa. That's true. Yeah. So Jamaicans, mm -hmm. do you think also you are Africans? Just tell me in the comment section. <laughs> and uh, I found that many Africans love Jamaicans. And there are, there are some cultures from Jamaica, which is also here in Africa. Uh, if I talk about Rastafarianism, we find, find many Rastas in Jamaica as well as in Africa. But I would like to ask my friend from Asia, from the <laughs> Philippines, do you guys have uh, Jamaicans in your country or some Jamaican culture in your country? I think uh, there are some Jamaicans that also make it to Philippines. You see, Jamaicans, from what we know about them, from the little encounters I have with them, uh, they are fun-loving people. They are very curious. They are very proud of their identity. They are proud to show their colors of who they are. Mm -hmm. Just like how I feel from my brothers here in Africa. There's, they're yeah. proud Rwandans. That's how I see Jamaicans. When, when uh, you ask anyone and they say, we are Jamaicans, they just know how to have a good time. Yes. And, uh, you know, Philippines, just like Jamaica, uh, is a very multinational. You see a lot of people going there for holidays. And uh, I think Jamaicans also are like that. They love flying out and exploring the world. So what I know about Jamaicans, uh, fun-loving people, very proud. And uh, yes, I have seen a few Jamaicans back home through maybe a few gatherings, social gatherings. But maybe not as much as... Uh, Jamaicans who actually come here to Africa to rediscover the roots. Mm. Yes. Paul, so what do you think about Jamaicans? Yeah, I think Jamaicans are very fun-loving people. Mm. They know how to have a good time and they are proud of who they are. That's what mm. I think about them. And mind, mind, this is very important. Both men and women, beautiful people, inside and out. That's what I think. Uh, Joel said that uh, Jamaicans are very supportive, right? Yeah. Joel, so how uh, supportive Jamaicans are? Like, tell me in which way are they supportive? Woo! They are very supportive, <laughs> in, um, especially in the way they actually continuously watch African content creators. And uh, one thing I've seen with Jamaicans, especially Jamaicans in Jamaica and Jamaicans in the US, is um, they don't actually choose who to watch. Yes. You know, as long as you are an African and you are promoting the continent, even though you're still a small YouTuber and uh, you still don't have the best gadgets to make the best videos, you're still struggling for views, there will be some Jamaicans in the comment section just, you know, 
cheering you up not to give up to keep on going that's what I've experienced when I was actually when I, I'm still growing on YouTube but when I was about uh, below 1,000 subscribers they keep on cheering you even though you post a video you're almost giving up for no views they're still there you know supporting you and um, cheering you on and uh, giving you encouragement for you to keep on moving so anything that is related to the continent Jamaicans they are very interested in that and uh, they love it a lot also when they see Africans who are interested in reverse now in Jamaica that is why when you find most African creators who are talking about Jamaica who are you know discussing about Jamaicans the Jamaicans will be flooding there to just hear your opinions about their country because they themselves are very interested in the motherland so they love it a lot when they see Africans also interested in Jamaica in reciprocity so yeah I think uh, that's how supportive they are very supportive okay mm. so here there is another question yeah uh, I'll be starting with, uh, with Paul. Hmm? Paul, you can tell me five things that you like about Jamaica as a country or Jamaicans like as people. Mm -hmm. Number one, from I haven't been to Jamaica yet, this is a disclaimer, mm -hmm. but from what I see in different videos and photos, it is a beautiful country, mm. very beautiful. Yeah. Number two, they are blessed with some of the best beaches in mm. the Caribbean and arguably the world for sure. Mm. Number three, the people from my encounters and from what I see on how they show, show so much love to you guys. They are very passionate mm. and very giving, very generous. Number four, they are proud of their identity. They are not shy to proclaim that they are Jamaicans and they are here, they represent. And number five, they're just fun loving and beautiful people. Those that's, are my five things about Jamaicans. That's it. So, wow. jo Joar, what five things that you like about Jamaica as a country or Jamaicans? Mm, five things. Wow. Number one has to be their one love mentality. They are always there. Bless up my people. Peace. One love, my brother. They are always actually greeting themselves in one love, one love, one love. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, and that's a very important thing because it shows unity yes. in the black community. So I like that about Jamaicans. When even when they are abroad, actually they are very united, and they are also supportive of Africans. And uh, that is what we need as the black community in order, you know, to go beyond our limits out there in this world. So that is number one thing I like about Jamaicans. What do I like about Jamaica as a country? I like Jamaica as a country because it's full of very many tropical beautiful beaches, white sandy beaches and the blue water lagoons. Oh, these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just make me, whenever I see videos about uh, Jamaica, they make me want to visit there because I'm in love with beaches actually, because I like it, because I was born in a landlocked country, you know, and uh, for me, uh, being at the beach is something of an experience some of you guys were born in a beach so for you it's something you've been seeing since you were born but for me i've been in a landlocked country so i like the jamaican beaches i've never been there a disclaimer also but i i hope to be there soon in the future uh you said how many five five, five things, things. Yeah. number three is the women no. i like i like the women from jamaica what why do i like the women from jamaica mm -hmm. i like their free spiritedness mm -hmm. because they are free spirited they don't care about the color of their skin mm -hmm. if you look at africans many women are insecure in the west about the color of their skin so i like the women of jamaica because they keep it natural they keep it natural they in, in jamaica it doesn't matter what type of body you have if you are at the beach you're in a bikini whether you are fat or slim or slender it doesn't matter man and they call their women queens 
queens. Yeah, I've been seeing that uh, yeah, that in the, the comments Jamaicans, section. The yeah. Jamaicans, they call their women queens. queens. So they make their women feel appreciated. And I like the fact that a Jamaican woman never feels insecure of her body. Regardless of how it looks like, she never feels insecure about her skin color and also her hair. So I like that about Jamaican women. Oh, number number what? Number four. Number four. Number four, I'm gonna have to think hard. <laughs> <laughs> number four, what do I like about Jamaica? I like I like the fact that they are representing Africa out there in uh, in the West. In America. In America and uh, you know Jamaicans they always represent Jamaica and Africa. You'll find a Jamaica saying to you absolutely to be maybe we consider Rastafarians they are in Jamaica but their dream is to get back to the motherland you know to be repatriated to the motherland and some of them have been repatriated in Ethiopia, Ethiopia. they were given land by Hele Selassie Emperor Hele Selassie mm -hmm. in a place called Sheshemane you, you can find so many Jamaicans there Rastas. and um, yeah Rastafaris and there are still some Rastafaris there in Jamaica who are still in hope of coming back to the motherland so even the normal Jamaicans who are not Af who are not Rastafaris even when they're in the US you find them they're representing Jamaica and Africa that's you know? it yeah. because they always say wow we are black we are Africa we came from Africa you know that is what I like about Jamaica because they embrace their identity and they embrace their ancestry and uh, number five wow what do I like about Jamaica number five number five I like uh, Jamaican sprinters especially I used to like using balls a lot <laughs> yeah <laughs> when it comes to the world of athletism Jamaicans are there actually especially in the world of athletics in sprinting and uh, one of uh, the best actually the all-time best uh, sprinter of all time is Usain Bolt uh, uh, he's from Jamaica and I remember when I was um, when I was um, in primary that is when he was breaking records I, I remember we used to you know we used to carry magazines or or uh, newspapers with the face of Usain Bolt doing that uh, famous <laughs> <laughs> famous celebration whenever he wins a race he always does this it's like a jet you know taking off that's yeah. that was his celebration so we used to to take those newspapers with his picture then you use a scissor you cut through the picture and then you go you know you go put it in your room or in your bag or something just as an idol or a model that you look up to so i like the fact that they are representing uh, the black community in sports actually yeah i think uh, that is what i like about jamaica mm. and many more <laughs> that mm. maybe i'm not able to mention on this video mm. yeah okay so Joe, uh, you said that uh, among the things you like about jamaicans is jamaican women would you like uh, to marry one of the jamaican mm -hmm. ladies Absolutely, why not? If we fall in love, uh, I would marry a Jamaican woman. Absolutely, sure. why not? You know me, I don't have a, a particular country that I prefer to marry from. Mm -hmm. I believe in, uh, you know, being on the same page, respecting each other and as much as you love each other. So I don't choose. I don't have any particular country that I want to marry from so if I end up you know with a Jamaican woman bro why not <laughs> why not ah, I'm gonna be lucky actually I'm gonna have some curry goat every <laughs> every dinner I know Jamaicans you like your curry goat <laughs> actually if you are a single Jamaican lady you should just DM this this boy he's very smart and I know he's single he's single right now so you can just go and DM him on his Instagram, my brother from the Philippines, uh, would you like to date a Jamaican lady? You know, um, just like my brother Joel here, I don't look 
at nationality i don't look at race mm. but i believe in mutual understanding yeah. i believe in mutual respect you know if the love is true then why not you know i think that all of us regardless of your size and color we're all beautiful people mm -hmm. so if you have that self respect and you have that respect for your partner then why not i can always choose to marry a jamaican woman who will choose to love me and i will choose to love as well okay no borders there people you just go and dm him and ask him <laughs> whether he's single here there is um the main question of the our conversation is why don't many africans visit jamaica mm. so joel mm. i've actually thought that visiting jamaica was very easy but i ended up finding that as an african it's not easy to visit jamaica because mm. i have been seeing many of my subscribers telling me in the comment section you have to visit jamaica you have to visit jamaica and i was coming up with an idea of visiting jamaica so i ended up just doing a research and found that only few africans go to jamaica so joel mm. why why do you think many africans don't visit jamaica wow okay i would say it's um a question of barrier jamaica is on the other side of the continent along across the uh, atlantic ocean mm -hmm. you know it's you have to either go by ship or by flight there are not many ships from africa to jamaica especially sh cruise ship now the only option that we are remaining with is a flight ticket to jamaica number one why it's not many africans you know visiting jamaica uh, flights from Africa to any parts of the world they are super expensive very expensive uh, I don't know why you can find a, a flight ticket from Africa to a country in Europe very expensive but the same flight ticket to that particular country from Europe to Africa you know very cheap so I don't know why they do that but you know it is what it is and then uh, another thing why Africans might not visit Jamaica more oftenly is uh, the question of not there being a direct flight from the African continent to the Jamaican island now Jamaicans and uh, Africa let me say the Caribbean we need to work together and connect our people because most or if not all the caribbean countries are black you know they black people there yeah yeah we need to work on something so that we can connect our people we can have flights directly from even if it's west africa ghana or nigeria or even uh, togo senegal you know from there because it's it's closer and then directly to the caribbean even though it's not directly to jamaica but at least to the caribbean then you are closer to jamaica mm -hmm. and there these flights do not exist you have to go through the u.s as a layover for you to get to jamaica and most africans it's easy it's not easy for them to get a u.s visa yeah yeah it's not easy because um you know you have to prove to the immigration that you're not trying to run away from africa so i think that's why most most africans don't visit jamaica because there is a barrier between the two people and the two community which is something that can be solved and i hope it can be solved in the future yeah let's hope that it will be solved yeah mm. uh, my brother the wandering kid mm. all the way from the philippines mm. yeah just the same question goes to you mm. why do you think many africans don't visit jamaica either for vacation or just just to visit a country like how you came here to mm. make your content here in rwanda mm -hmm. why do you think what's the reason why many africans don't go to jamaica well first of all it is never an issue of lack of interest or lack of curiosity because uh, based on what I see on how you guys interact with them there is mutual love and there is mutual curiosity between the two peoples here the people from the Caribbean and from the African continent right now and uh, to you know 
add more points to what Joel said earlier. Mm. Flights within Africa right now still need more developing. You see, yeah. the options are quite limited. You are bound to actually fly the same airlines over and over, which perhaps causes a monopoly on the price of the flights and the options that you have. Um, you would see that um, there are many countries within Africa, but however, not all of them are actually huge airports that can actually hold many flights or welcome flights from many parts of the world, which in turn you would need to transit to other African airports and uh, to transit, well, you mentioned earlier, if you want to go to Jamaica or any part of the Caribbean, your best option is to go through the U.S. and even that is a huge hurdle, hurdle in itself because convincing the American ambassador or the consul that you're not going to escape your life from where you come from is a huge task. You have to present a lot of documents, you have to show your financial capability to travel and your stability in life. Even for me, coming from Philippines, come, going here to Africa, it's not always that easy to actually book a flight or plan my holidays because I have to time it when I get lucky and find some pretty good deals to get here to Africa. Uh, I think there's still a lot more, more work that needs to be done in terms of the aviation industry here. Well, at the same time, you know, the borders are still not that open yet. So like Joel has mentioned earlier, it's up to you guys here in Africa and the people of the Caribbean to make some changes make some changes that hopefully will impact a, a more long-term positive effect and that would foster more connections between you guys from your brothers who have left you in the past to be able to reconnect to the motherland okay yes i hope uh, our governments are gonna do something we do something about that because we need to reconnect with our brothers who are in the caribbeans and uh, i would end this conversation uh, by asking all of you guys uh, starting uh, with Joel what message will you give to our Jamaican viewers who are watching us right now by the way if you have not yet subscribed to my brother's YouTube channel Joel underscore Mugisha just go and check him out Joel underscore Mugisha subscribe like his videos and tell him that you are from my side so I was asking him to give you uh, the last message as we end this video. Well, all I can say guys from Jamaica, our Jamaican brothers and sisters is we love you so much. We appreciate the support that you show us as African, African creators of content on online space. We are happy to be showcasing our beautiful motherland where you guys come from and uh, we are happy that you guys appreciate what we are doing as content creators and the level of love that you show us. So we want to say we love you so much Jamaicans, you are our brothers and sisters on the other side of the world and I hope uh, that this message reaches to you who is in despair or who is in need of visiting the continent so we are actually talking about this because it's something that needs to be settled it's something that needs to be corrected we need to be connected Africa and its African brothers and sisters from the other side of the world so I hope that this message reached to maybe some people in the government who knows they can do something about it and connect africa with jamaica and the caribbeans so we love you guys we would love to come to visit your country your beautiful jamaica country but there are some hurdles but those of us who can we are gonna be there for me myself i can say very soon i'm coming to jamaica one love my people bless up Yes, Joe is very yeah. soon is going to Jamaica. I hope you will wow. not you will go with me, Joe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, leave we'll me go, here. We'll go together. We'll go together. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Thor. Mm. Um, first of all, I also tell you uh, to subscribe on 
core YouTube channel. His channel is The Wandering Kid. Yeah. He has been traveling in different countries, in Asia. Jo uh, Paul, what country have you traveled so far? <laughs> yeah. What do countries you mean? like what countries, countries have oh, you traveled? Sev several countries. Several I've countries. been to. Uh, I've been to India. Mm -hmm. I've been to Mongolia. I've been to Thailand. I've been to Russia. I've been to Kazakhstan, and of course here in Africa, I've been to Ethiopia, to Tanzania, to Ghana, to Togo, and now I'm here in the beautiful country of Rwanda, the land of a thousand hills. You've heard him, so go and support him. He has been doing amazing work traveling around all of those countries. So, Paul, I would like to ask you to give a short message to Jamaicans mm -hmm. viewers who are watching us right now. To all of the Jamaicans watching this video, I would like to thank you on behalf of TA underscore travels and Joel underscore Mugisha for always encouraging them, for always showing them so much love because I know that just like you guys who want to share your stories and your narrative to the world, they are doing a pretty good job at it. Sharing the stories of Africa to the world and uh, I think no one else could do that better than you guys. And uh, as an Asian here, I may not be African right now in terms of my roots, but my heart is undoubtedly African, so I can only root for you. And I'm so happy that I get to be on this video to show my appreciation to you guys as well. So my hope is that you guys would continue to support them until they grow big so they can share Africa's stories to a bigger audience to the world. Yes. Thank you guys. So guys, you've heard them. Uh, support me, support them, subscribe, like the videos, comment guys. Just tell us what you think about this video just down there in the comment section. So, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Ciao. Bye. Bye.